Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Project. In this module, I want to look at overtime, setting overtime, and also how you can get rid of over allocated resources. So first of all, I've got two tasks, task A and task B, eight hours and two hours, and I've allocated Bob to each of these tasks. And you can see there straight away is over allocated. So things that you can do to fix this already is I could just put a link there which will push that onto a second day and then it's going on the following day which in this case is Wednesday that's okay that will work but maybe it has to go on on the same day so I'll undo that one you could also go to resource leveling level resource level all I'll do because there's only one resource level all that does exactly the same it's just moved it onto a second day I've got the timeline down as hours at the moment so you can see it's on the second day eight o'clock I'll just clear leveling to bring that back so it's still over allocated now to give him overtime so this goes on in the same day um, you do this you go view details and change the bottom half of the split screen to resource usage you can see the 10 hours allocated there you add the column uh, overtime work type O O for time work that one and then you give him two hours overtime on that task B which will then allow it to uh, all take place in the same day and if I put a, a link there it still stays on the 29th it hasn't gone on to the next day and if you look at the Gantt chart, the way Project rationalizes that, it creates that as a milestone indicator. So it's not really showing you it going into the two hours overtime there, although it does show it in terms of hours down here. I personally don't like the way it does that. So I'm going to, that is okay if that's fine, but if you're happy with that. But if I just do this slightly differently, if I take that back to zero, um back to zero i've added that twice for some reason i'll just delete one of them so now we've got um no other time set so it's gone on to the second day because it's following on which is okay now the other way i could do could do that is change the working time for bob so there's Bob. If I change the view to look at the resource sheet and then double click on Bob, change working time, work weeks, and then details. If I highlight all of these and set this option and then change that to 1900, say. Click OK, click OK, click OK, put that back to the Gantt chart. Now I've lost everything, so what I need to do is go to the task and scroll to taskbar, and then you can see now it sits how I like it personally. It actually shows you that's a non working time grayed out. But it's showing you that Bob is actually continued to work until seven o'clock and you can see it in the um, details down the bottom there. So that's two different ways of doing it. If you are one of these people that like the visual Gantt chart to look correct, which I am, that is probably the option that you want to do. And obviously I did that for the whole week and that would be every week. That's the downside. So that would be every week you'd be working 10 hours a day. If that's okay, that's fine. Otherwise, you're going to have to do it on a a single basis the other way I showed you but either way uh, you make it fit your working practice if I just remove that split take that off so we're just back to this and that task option there I'm just gonna right click on that and add it to the quick access toolbar at the top because I use that quite a lot and if you're on a different tab it's slightly irritating to come back to task 
to do that. Now that normally happens when you play around with the time scales. If I put this back onto two tiers, put the uh, middle tier onto weeks, and the bottom tier should go onto days. That's the default. Make sure the count is on one and one it is. Click OK. And sorry, Laura, I haven't lost my tasks, but quite often you do. But if I just scroll off in this case, like so, so you just now I can just click. If I was say on the view tab, I can just click that and it'll bring them back into sight. So it's just a, an additional tip. But that's basically all I want to talk about in this little session how you can create overtime by adding overtime through the resource usage sheet and also how you can change the overtime or the amount of hours worked as a standard calendar by adding the extra two hours in there which is quite often what a lot of people do they do actually do like 10 hour shifts and then they'll have a few days off and then so Monday Tuesday Wednesday could be 10 hours and then three days off or two days off or whatever that's how you would set that up in the calendar but that's the end of this session so I hope you've enjoyed that and I'll see you on the next one